Well, I'm delighted to welcome to the studio author Jane Plitt, who is a longtime uh, resident here in Rochester, now makes her home in Florida, but back in town this week. Delighted to have you here, Jane. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming in. The book, and we have it on the monitor behind us, is Martha Matilda Harper and the American Dream, and the subtitle is How One Woman Changed the Face of Modern Business. A little window into what this story is about. She's an important lady, Jane, who uh, has largely been forgotten uh, sort of lost to the pages of history, so to speak. Tragically. Yeah. And it was my great honor to dig for six years and crisscross the country in Canada and uh, bring her back to life. What was exceptional about her? Why write about Martha? Well, she was the first woman member of the Chamber of Commerce and they forgot about her. And um, she created modern franchising and she also invented the reclining shampoo chair that we all get to delight in. <laughs> and she was a poor servant from the time she was seven. Uh, finally, 25 years later, she comes to Rochester and is able to create the first uh, beauty salon for women here. And from there, it was like a Wegmans where people <laughs> used to bring people to see this amazing new experience. And Bertha Palmer from Chicago came and said, I want a shop in Chicago. And Bertha uh, gets what she wants. And Martha had to figure out a new way of doing business because banks weren't about to fund her. So she conceives this idea of franchising, but she also conceives of how she can use this as an opportunity where poor women could own their own franchise. Ultimately, she has 500 franchises around the world, and people like President Wilson, while he was negotiating the Treaty of Versailles in Paris, mm. go for scalp massages to relax. So she's one heck of a brilliant person, immigrant, and business person, and we just should be so proud of her as Rochesterian. She was a contemporary of George Eastman, to, to put some context into this timing wise than you did with the mentioning of President Wilson. Her imprint is all over this town, isn't it? All these years later. There are um, 12 locations throughout Rochester that have her, um, that had her shops and the Rochester Museum and Science Center has all of her um, artifacts and memorabilia. And this Wednesday uh, night uh, from 5.30 to 7.00, the public is invited for both the book launch and to experience um, some of her uh, artifacts. They'll see the reclining shampoo chair mm. prototype. And um, there are still many Harperites uh, who studied under the Harper method who still live in this area. There's going to be a, a presentation coming up on Thursday as well at St. John Fisher. You're going to give that at the lunch hour, 12 to 1.30 at the School of Business over there, right? Yes, and the public is able to attend, but hurry because the, mm -hmm. there are limited seats and the school is underwriting the cost of the luncheon. This is a fascinating read. What do you hope the takeaway is? Just that she's remembered? There's more to it than that, though, isn't there? There is. Um, we need to embrace her not only because she was fabulous, but because she paved the way for women to demonstrate that they too could be leaders and innovators. She also was an immigrant, and so she illustrates that immigrants can bring new ideas. And Rochester totally deserves credit for embracing her as they did many other people with very strange ideas. Mm. George Eastman, 1888, launches the Kodak camera. She, in 1888, launches the concept of beauty salons for women. And we need to learn her lessons, that you persevere, things could be tough, but that you need to hang in there. She hung in for 25 years. Mm. And then you need to bring others along. Um, what wonderful lessons for us today. Indeed. We'll leave it there. A member of the National Women's Hall of Fame as well, Martha Matilda Harper, the book by Jane Plitt, Martha Matilda Harper and the American Dream. Again, uh, a great evening set up tomorrow night at the Rochester Museum and Science Center, as well as the luncheon at St. John Fisher on Thursday.
all uh, to think of this Rochester marvel, Martha Matilda Harper. Thank you. Thank you. If you missed any of our conversation, we're sharing it online as always, including where you can find your copy of this great book at rochesterfirst.com.